That's a great sound right there. That is the hero's welcome for the Honor Flight Bluegrass, which greets them, uh, the veterans, after their trip. You can join the chorus tonight at Muhammad Ali International when the last Honor Flight Bluegrass of the year comes to an end. Jim Stratman and photojournalist Addie Hill are live at the airport this morning where that flight's going to take off uh, in just about uh, a few minutes at this point, Jim. Yeah, Eric, we're minutes away from that flight really taking off. It's 645 right now. We were told around 7 o'clock they'd be in the air on their way to D.C. to start what is going to be a really big and really exciting day for a lot of these veterans. I've had a chance to talk to a number of them already this morning. One of the overwhelming thoughts that they had is just the the unknown at this point. Be going through this experience, how emotional is it going to be? They don't know. They're going to figure that out a little bit later on today. But I will tell you, it was phenomenal out here this morning, seeing all these veterans come together, share their stories over some coffee and donuts and get set for their honor flight uh, out of Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport over to D.C. Now on this flight in particular, we have three World War II veterans, 14 Korean War veterans, 67 Vietnam War veterans, all now on their way to our nation's capital. They're going to be visiting all of the memorials for all of the different wars and branches of the military service. They're also going to be going to Arlington National Cemetery before they fly back home later this evening. Honor Flight Bluegrass Chairman Jeff Toki says that each part of the day really does have a big impact. It's very emotional for all of us uh, on, on the, the Honor Flight Board to see this. And they experience so many emotions during the day. And then we cap it off with a huge crowd. We have up to, upwards of probably 2,000 people here that are to greet them and welcome them back. And they're just saying, why me? I said, well, you deserve this. So it's just really exciting. Now, that welcome home celebration is set for tonight at 930 out here at Muhammad Ali International Airport. You can come with signs, flags, and really give these heroes the welcome back that they never got. Some of them never got when they returned from active combat. Uh, we're going to be meeting up here on the upper level of Muhammad Ali International Airport, right about where I'm standing outside of P TSA. That's where the celebration is going to be. So again, we want to see as many people out here as possible. It is just the start, Eric and Grace, of a massive day for these veterans. Lots of emotion, but hopefully a lot of fun memories being made as well out there today. Yes, definitely all of that, Jim. And we should mention everybody that's associated with Honor Flight is a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And they're always looking for more volunteers. So you can always visit their website and, and see all the good work that they do.